Pelicans win the tip. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, all and Holiday combine at the guard spots. Zion is the four with Favors at the five. And it's Ingram at the three spot. Right side, ball. Five to shoot. Here's Holiday. And it comes off the front of the rim. And drafted eighth overall back in 2016. First played with four different teams in his first four years. He came into this league, GA, with a raw skill set. How they define role. But the physical ability, we know it's there. He's still very young and still has a lot of room to grow. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. And that one's good by favorites. You love the effort of favors. On the glass, he's a scrappy player who comes away with second chance opportunities for his club. And now, here's Chris. Wiggins, right side. Thompson, outside. Fires the three. Elegant with the rebound. Holiday with it. Now Green defending. Holiday against the bucket. Nice to see Williams spot the open man. He has awareness and ability as a passer. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, I did get a chance to speak with Steve Kerr a little bit. He said Zion Williamson is at his most dangerous when he's playing on a full tank of gas. Coach said we need to make him expend energy at both ends. Try to wear him down, at least a little. The problem is, of course, Zion now expects teams to try that. He's finding ways to adjust. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. The Warriors have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Thompson with the bucket. Nice play call. You know Clay's deadly in the catch and shoot game. Get him the rock. Ball, the pass to Holiday. Now here's Favors. Kicks to Holiday. trying to break free the shot by holiday no good and all quarter long it's been the same story inconsistent with this offense williamson the pass to holiday now here's favors offered by chris here's williamson favors trying to break free and it's williamson missing and it's curry with the ball bringing it up for the warriors Thompson kicks to Kirk. Yep, it counts. We know this about Steph Curry. He can hit it from anywhere, outside, inside, in between. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And that one's good, Williamson. Great talkers over the years, trash talkers on the floor in this league. Do you think they do it more to get themselves going, Greg, or do they do it with the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin? Hey, Kevin, that's a great question, and believe it or not, you see both. I've seen guys who do it to get under your skin, and I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefit. That's how they derive their confidence, and so... Uh, it's about you figuring out what works for you. I've seen some guys, they don't say smack. They don't they don't say a word during the course of the game, but they will cut your heart out. So it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you there. No, we don't do that. <laughs> and just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Jackson. Golden 
Golden State's drawn three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. And he hits the bucket. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. For New Orleans, they've gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Outside Jackson. Hayes with it. Moving on him. Hayes, no good. Warriors leading by seven. Here's Toscano. Curry with a wide open look. Another three for Golden State. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Hart the pass to Jackson. Now Hayes. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. It's them both. Warriors leading by eight. Master looting. Over to the wing. Curry against Jackson. Now here's Curry. G right on him. And the shot goes in. Curry's got ten points. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Hart kicks to Hayes. Reddick with the three. And again, no good by New Orleans. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Pelicans trail by 10. Jackson looking it over. Pops in the layup for two. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Outside curve. Warriors the rebound. At Kaluni. Pass it to Kirby. Just four to shoot. From deep three-point range, an absolute bomb from three-point range. This is what the fans come to see. Step at his finest, putting on a show. Reddick with the three, and no good in the last second attempt this time. Combination in the first quarter, it's been pretty lopsided. Warriors ahead as they end the first quarter with a huge surge, an 18-6 run. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports.
glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, we've seen the Warriors really take control of this. Benji on the defensive end in that first quarter, they were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They just been the better team so far. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Warriors. We've got Steph Curry, and it's Pascal in at the four. And because of the versatility, Pascal is a guy you can kind of plug into almost any lineup. Has just enough length, GA, and strength and skill in shooting. Doesn't stand out in one area, but as a whole, he's a difference maker at both ends. Take a break. Take a break. Three seconds. First free throw is good. You know how important the draft is, Greg. It can it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently. How about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how about Kobe going to the Lakers. Uh, Mikhail and Paris coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. To the inside, Williamson and the jump by Williamson. We see it night after night. Zion relentless assault on the cup. Warriors leading by 13. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Outside Curry. That's the three fly. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got 18 points in the game. So reliable. They really leaned on him at the offensive end. Okafor finds Holiday. Pass the ball. Williamson outside. And there's the pass to Okafor. Shoots over Curry. Almost, but it rolls out. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Pascal, the pass to Wiggins. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Lonzo Ball has steadily improved his three-point shooting. He had to rework his form, moving his windup over to the right side of his body. He said, now my shot is more consistent. I just take it step by step. I'm going to keep working, and hopefully the percentages will keep going up. Guys? I think we've all enjoyed watching his improvement. David, thank you for that. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Hard to think of a player in this league with more of a pass-first mentality than Lonzo Ball. I mean, total unselfishness, elite vision. Sometimes you'd like to see him penetrate a little more in the half court, but he's improving from range, and that'll open up driving lanes, and he can take advantage. And 
here is Curry. 20 points for him. Wiggins finds Green. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. You see the power, the long arms. Draymond able to convert through contact with a potential and one. And Smitty, any time there's a hole for a dirtiest player in the NBA, Draymond seems to end up on that list. GA and RJ, there would have been a lot of us on that list. We know Draymond just wants to win, but it's about just playing hard, and that's what he'll do. He'll do whatever it takes to win. In this league, they're just trying to clean up some of these acts. And Green, no good on that one. One of the great second-round picks of the modern age. What Draymond contributes is somewhat irreplaceable. Terrific vision there with that pass. Hit his teammate perfectly in transition. Pelican shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. with the ball. Hart kicks to Jackson. They need this. And the layup is up and in. Jackson's got his second basket of the night. And they repeatedly booked inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. On the way, Wiggins, covered by Reddit, shoots a fader. That one doesn't go. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. A minute 20 left in the first half. Upside Jackson. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Pass to Green. Here's Toscano. Passes it to Chris. Here's Poole, guarded by Jackson. Just five to shoot. Poole, the pass to Wiggins. Off target from three-point range. Pelicans trailed by 21. Beats it to Hayes. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws.
the Pelicans have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. separate the shot and game clocks. Hayes dishes to Reddit. Outside Jackson. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. What a defensive play. Get the stop and does it without foul. Cool to pass to Looney. And a wide open look here for Wiggins and the three off target. And so it's the Golden State Warriors cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Draymond. Of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on the... If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. And I just got to know where to pop and just take advantage of this match. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 20 points, two assists, and Shaq, so many fans know Steph for the deep three, but Curry is also one of the league's more efficient scorers. He had a career 47% shooter from the field. He took over 50% from the field one season, which he took nine from the trip. That is, he just, he, you know, he was a three-star recruit coming out of high school. Like, no one thought he was going to be a great player. No one, no one thought he was going to be a great player. Steph, who's now won multiple MVP, has shut up the critics. And now time for the second half. We send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Really an incredible game from Stephen Kirk. Yeah, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Setting the four now for the Pelicans. Zion is the four with favors at the five. Holiday and Ingram out on the perimeter. And it's Ball in at the point guard position. Now here's Green. And he rushed through that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. And getting traded from Utah to New Orleans last year, Favors became a grounding force for a very young Republicans team. Yeah, and Derek Favors knows what it's like to be that rookie coming in, having a lot of physical ability and facing high expectations. He did a great job, in my opinion, providing veteran leadership. And personally, he had one of his more productive years overall.
free throw drops for Curry. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, in the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. And so he hits both. And those rebounding numbers, GA, just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach heart and you can't teach instinct, and he has both. Ingram passes to Fables. Makes it off the glass. Favors got his second bucket of the game to go. And while Favors has developed his outside shot right there in the paint, this is comfort zone. Here's Curry with the three. Excellent D there from Ball. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. New Orleans moving it around. Holiday dishes to Williamson. Baseline try. Clay Johnson grabs the miss. Good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. Over in the corner, green. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And right now, Draymond is just cooking. Immediately fired. Had the confidence in himself and knowing he can knock that one down. Holiday goes in. That's good from Williamson. On the assist by Holiday. And it's six points for Zion Williamson. I'm a D-Wet. What range from outside? Wow. Stepping courage. So as he crosses the half court line, he's in range. Outside holiday. Second shot opportunity. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, easy call. <laughs> <laughs> this is his first free throw of the game. And, and not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two up. He misses the free throw. Well, you know, he's the former third overall pick out of Georgia Tech. Favors has made steady improvement, productive at the four and the five spot. And the Warriors making a change here. Smiley Geach has checked in. And New Orleans also making a change. Okafor's checked in. And the second free throw, good. The Warriors have gone two or four here to start the second half. Ball against Kirk. Thompson outside. From deep. From beyond the arc and then some. Curry's got 28 points for the game. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Has to open for about Lonzo Ball. He's a gamer. Rising to the challenge answering back with a three of his own. Green finds Curry. Here's Smilik each. Over favors. That's short off the rim. Yeah, well, he's got to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Now here's Ingram, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Thompson with it, now Okafor defending. Thompson against Okafor. Thompson with the bucket. Excellent touch from the mid-range. Clay Thompson's jump shot is good from anywhere. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. 
many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Why Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half point game. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. One falls for him. You talk about a player who steadily improved over the course of his career. That's J.J. Reddick, maximizing his potential. Both shots good from the strike. Golden State's gone two and three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Thompson outside, Master Looney. Some nice passing by Golden State to the paint. It's rebounded by Hayes. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Pelicans. Down low, Haskell with the steal. On the wing, Thompson. And it falls over the rim and in. Thompson's got 13. Thompson has one of the sweetest strokes in the game. New Orleans has gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Jackson with the bounce pass. A shot's good from Hayes. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Warriors have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Passes it to Looney.
here's Toscano. Haskell with the ball. And Poole gets it to go. Poole's got four this quarter. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Now, here's Reddick. From downtown. No good on that one. And 